Like, this song is so sad. Like, it's a beautiful song, but it's beautifully sad. All right, today I'm checking out Bonnie Raitt. I'm listening to the song, I Can't Make You Love Me. Let's get into it. This song is so sad. Like, it's a beautiful song, but it's beautifully sad. Like, you know, like on her haunting song stream. This would be perfect for that. And uh, it sucks. You know what I mean? Can't make you love me. You can't negotiate someone loving you. There's nothing you could do really if you're in that situation. You just gotta come to terms. You know what I mean? It's a jagged little pill that eventually you're just gonna have to swallow. Man, it's an emotional song. That really blows are you picture being in that situation or maybe some people have been in that situation but you picture being in that situation where you're really in love with someone and you're laying in the bed with something you can tell they just they're already checked out of the relationship that's probably so miserable
Dang. That song was so sad sounding that like, just purely the piano. That could have been a funeral song or something like that, you know? Well, a lot of funeral songs are mostly piano. It definitely had that feel to me, but I guess it is a death that she's coming to terms with. A death of sorts, you know what I mean? A death of your relationship. And depending on how much you love the person, that could feel maybe not like a death of a close family member, but maybe it could. You know what I mean? If you're still fully in love with that person and they just dip out on you, check out, probably talking to someone else, making love to someone else, and you could just tell, you could smell it on them, the chemistry's not the same. It probably feels like a death of sorts. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? Yeah, my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know, but I don't know. 